Yo, what's up? It's your boy DKP again, yo. Yo, I want to share another piece with y'all. Another piece. Uh, wrote this joint a, a couple of years back. Uh, I made some modifications to, you know, to, to bring it current. Uh, but I still, I still think it, it, you know, it reigns true today. You know, you know, they're forcing this television on us, man. You know, they're they forcing these celebrities on us, you know. Half the time, you ain't even feeling these celebrities, man. But because they, they're on your screens 9, 10, 11, 12 times a day, you're dreaming about these celebrities. So, subconsciously, you're programmed to worship these celebrities, even though you don't, you know. So, it's like, you know things about Eva Longoria. You don't care about them, them. Damn, Eva Longoria, you know, no Desperate Housewives, but, you know, but somebody says Desperate Housewives, you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that TV show, because we're being programmed, you know what I mean? So, I wrote this joint here, this, this joint is called Pop Culture Vulture. This joint will also be incorporated into the, to the one-man comedy show, Dave's Got Issues. Uh, you'll see the character who performs this piece, but I just want to give it to you in a raw, kind of a, <laughs> you know, a sneak preview of what's about to go down. So, just tell me what's up, leave your comments. This joint is called... Pop culture vulture. Stankered in a 10 gallon pot of mustard greens, tasting like a dead Pax flavored sucker! It's the pop culture vulture coming to insult you, slap your false faction in. Tatcha! But your ass though, no cook into channels looking for the next silicone hall live on ETV. It's good to be Britney, Christina, Simon, and Paula Abdul. A show produced to remind you, it sucks being you. The hell with Oprah and Phil. Give me more Maury, Ricky, and Springer. My life is effed up, but not as effed up as these black and white trash actors. I can't feel my mother to go ahead and hump the cat. Just come a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Who needs weed when you got visual crack and words on BET? Looking like rapper slaves picking cotton. MTV, you got white boy say what you all sucking on oxy cotton. Ask your doctor about Claritin today. Side effects may include constipation, diarrhea, dry mouth, and salivating. I've been in patiently waiting for the spice channel. Come on now, I got my prick in a grip and some KY jelly, so turn that S on now. On which Hollywood star to spend $20 million on their new mansion equipped with guest house that extends five miles. Welcome back to real life where you'll never be that wild, just broke as hell and miserable with a smile, but you don't care. You hope it'll last as long as they keep adding more dumbass channels to your Comcast or should I say Comcast or maybe Satan will grant you a wish for sucking this prick and give you that satellite dish. This way you'll get 666 channels. Say F your wife and kids and play with your a-hole with a banana. Oh, my breast too small. I wonder what you cost to cap and bleach my teeth. Hell, I already got some gunpowder and some Clorox. I live in the hood, so pop code so I can live my life unorthodox. Pest Episcopal Baptist and AME is all we need. And a new sermon to go with this new bag of weed. Praise the Lord. No stems and no seeds. How you doing, black man? My brother. You coming to the club tonight? Yeah, them fools gonna be there. We strapping. Just who the hell is Sarah Jessica Parker attracting? Uh, Confucius say. No sex in city for white women with ugly face, no ass, no titty. That queen bee look like dollar store sex doll. But if she gave me a number, I'd still call. Coochie is good, but I gotta admit, J-Lo's ass is better. Can I get a squeeze on your number one fan security? Man, try still saw Holly Berry. Claims he's a fan in the night on Little. Four more actors who are smiling in front of the cameras just so you buy tickets to their new movie. Got you thinking it's in Sarity. Get you clean ass in the hospital all day. Toxic ass for 20 years. And you never attempted to quit for minimum wage. But entertainers get your year's salary just to shake that ass on stage. We can Complain about the air, the environment, and animal rights, Drew Peter. But nobody complains about this pop culture vulture. We just allow it to beat us. For 19.95, you can own this poem and the DVD. After I take your money, I'm going to say, thank you, then F you. Why you say, ain't that the Nick Russell on death poetry? Soon as Russell calls me back, you brain drain, pop culture vulture, looking stank ass mother. Bent over. And let me give you some more of this. Pop culture vulture. We now return to your normally scheduled mind-altering brainwashing in progress.